located in France right now. So uh -huh. I'm Ukrainian based in France, mm -hmm. but all our team is in Ukraine. Mostly uh -huh. all our team is in Ukraine right now. And um, yeah, so and I, I just I just want to tell you in advance, this is my first live in English. So just bear with me. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will do all my best answering all the questions, um, talking about the summit. And, but yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, good. Well, take, take a deep breath. Just look I'm at trying. I'm yes. trying to, to breathe right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I think we might come to France this summer. You know, I've said um, I'm not going to France until they've got really good gluten free croissants. And I'm told now that there are a few bakeries in Paris that have really good gluten-free croissants. Oh, so. really? Because I, I listened to a couple of your lectures and uh, I felt like I had the guilty feeling. It's like, I'm in France. How can I stop eating baguette? I don't like croissant, but uh -huh. I, love, I love baguette. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought like, every morning when I, when, I, when I take the baguette, I remember about... Dr. Tom, it's like, okay, I'm having the interview with Dr. Tom. It's like, <laughs> should I admit that they eat baguette? <laughs> I understand <laughs> but if, that. <laughs> but if you go to Italy, how you cannot eat pasta there? <laughs> they, uh, almost every restaurant will have gluten-free pasta. Gluten-free, okay. Yes, and they take pride always in serving pasta, you know, and so it's, uh, I've never had a bad tasting gluten-free pasta uh, in Italy. And we, we lived in Italy for two years, uh, about almost three, and we never had bad gluten-free pizza or 